Picture this. It's a sultry summer evening in 1947. The world still reeling from the aftermath of World War II. The smell of popcorn lingers in the air as you settle into the plush, red velvet seat of the local movie theater. The flickering of the projector casts shadows on the silver screen. And there it is, in all its monochromatic glory, Dark Passage. Your first encounter with this cinematic masterpiece was like stepping into a mysterious world of intrigue and suspense. The way Humphrey Bogart's eyes seemed to pierce through the darkness, Lauren Bacall's smoky voice pulling you deeper into the story, it was a moment etched in your memory forever. As the plot unfolded, you were on the edge of your seat, swept away by the twists and turns, the palpable tension, and the unforgettable characters. Perhaps you recall that heart-pounding scene when Vincent Perry, played by Bogart, embarks on a desperate journey of transformation, attempting to evade the law and clear his name. Or maybe it's the breathtaking shots of San Francisco's iconic landmarks that stayed with you, forever associating them with this film. Now, let's dive into some random facts about Dark Passage that will deepen your appreciation for this classic. Did you know that the film's innovative use of first-person camera perspective, a rarity in those days, added a unique layer of immersion to the storytelling? And that the iconic Golden Gate Bridge played a symbolic role in the movie's narrative, serving as a bridge between Perry's past and his uncertain future. So, whether it's your first or fiftieth time encountering Dark Passage, this film's timeless allure continues to captivate audiences, leaving us with indelible memories of cinematic excellence. Stay tuned for more fascinating insights. Heights, 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 heights. Idea 3, Dark Passage and Humphrey Bogart's plastic surgery in the 1947 movie Dark Passage. Humphrey Bogart took on a role that showcased his acting versatility. This film marked the second time in his career that he played a character in dire legal trouble who sought a fresh start through plastic surgery. The first instance was in the 1937 film Dead End. In Dark Passage, Bogart's character, Vincent Perry, undergoes plastic surgery to change his appearance after escaping from prison. The film's unique narrative approach keeps Bogart's face hidden for much of the movie, using a first-person perspective to immerse the audience in Perry's experiences. Bogart's decision to take on such roles displayed his willingness to tackle complex characters and explore the darker aspects of human nature. His performance in Dark Passage added depth to his filmography and cemented his reputation as a versatile actor who could excel at a wide range of roles. The use of plastic surgery as a plot device in both Dead End and Dark Passage reflected the era's fascination with medical advancements and the desire for transformation. These films allowed Bogart to showcase his talent while also exploring the psychological and moral implications of altering one's identity. In the end, Dark Passage stands as a notable entry in Humphrey Bogart's career, highlighting his ability to captivate audiences with compelling characters and complex narratives. In the 1947 movie Dark Passage, Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall teamed up for the third time in their film careers. This film marked the third of four collaborations between the husband and wife duo. The other three films in their partnership were to have and have not, The Big Sleep and Key Largo. One of the most intriguing aspects of Dark Passage is the way it hides Humphrey Bogart's face for a significant portion of the movie. In fact, his complete, uncovered face isn't seen clearly until 62 minutes into the film. The story revolves around Bogart's character, who undergoes plastic surgery to change his appearance. As a result, the movie cleverly uses camera angles, shadows, and bandages to keep his face hidden from the audience. This unique visual approach adds suspense and mystery to the film, making it a standout feature of Dark Passage. While Dark Passage may not have the same level of fame as some other Bogart and Bacall films, its innovative use of point-of-view shots and delayed reveal of the lead actor's face has made it a memorable entry in their cinematic collaborations. In summary, Dark Passage stands out not only as the third of four films featuring Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall, but also for its creative cinematography that keeps Bogart's face hidden until a crucial moment in the story. In 1947, the movie Dark Passage faced a tough road at the box office. One reason for its struggles was its unorthodox first-person perspective, an unusual choice at the time. The film's use of this perspective, where the audience sees everything from the protagonist's point of view, was a daring move that didn't sit well with everyone. Some viewers found it disorienting, 
which contributed to the film's lukewarm reception. Adding to the challenges was Humphrey Bogart's negative press due to his support of the Committee for the First Amendment. This committee was formed in response to the House on american Activities Committee's investigations into alleged communist ties in Hollywood. Bogart's association with this committee drew criticism and boycott threats, affecting the film's performance. Moreover, Dark Passage has an interesting musical connection. Composer Franz Waxman reused his title music from the 1944 film to have, and have not in Dark Passage. This musical borrowing added a layer of familiarity for audiences, though it may not have been widely recognized. Lastly, an intriguing tidbit can be found when Vincent Perry, the film's lead character, looks at Irene Jansen's scrapbook. He discovers a newspaper clipping about her father's conviction for killing his wife, Irene's mother. What makes this even more fascinating is that the photo in the clipping is of Delmer Daves, the very director of the film. It's a subtle but curious detail that ties the film's narrative to its creator. In the end, Dark Passage may not have been a box office hit in 1947, but it remains an intriguing piece of cinema history with its innovative perspective, musical connections, and hidden directorial cameo. cameo, cameo, cameo. In 1947, the movie Dark Passage took viewers on a thrilling journey through San Francisco's streets. While there might not be a wealth of information available about this classic film, here's an interesting tidbit. The actual 1937 Art Deco apartment building featured in the movie still stands today at 1360 Montgomery Street in San Francisco. Apartment No. 10 within the building has a unique claim to famates marked by a cardboard cutout of Humphrey Bogart, the film's star, visible from the street. This iconic location remains a popular spot for fans of vintage film noir to visit, a testament to the enduring allure of the movie. The unit itself boasts one bath, one bedroom, and 861 square feet of living space. In 2016, it changed hands for a cool $1.5 million, reflecting both its historical significance and the red-hot San Francisco real estate market. As for Vincent's purchase of his late wife's ring in the early 1940s, it's intriguing to note that the $900 he paid back then would be equivalent to roughly $15,000 in today's currency, highlighting the film's portrayal of a bygone era. And lastly, a small but noteworthy detail, the little boy seen in the bus station within the movie is none other than Robert Blake, adding an interesting footnote to the film's casting. Dark Passage may not have the same level of recognition as some other classics, but its enduring connections to real locations and historical context continue to captivate fans, making it a timeless piece of cinematic history. Cinematic history. In the 1947 movie Dark Passage, a notable milestone was achieved in the world of cinema. It marked the first film in which Humphrey Bogart wore a full hairpiece. Bogart, a legendary actor of his time, had a distinctive look, but for this film, a change was made. This decision was a significant departure from his usual appearance, and it added a unique element to his character. Interestingly, the film also had an unconventional aspect that didn't sit well with Warner Brothers studio head, Jack L. Warner. For the first half of the movie, the audience doesn't see Humphrey Bogart's face. This decision was not made lightly, and when Warner discovered it, he was less than pleased. However, by that time, the film was already too far along in production to be changed. This bold choice to hide the face of one of their biggest stars added an element of mystery and intrigue to Dark Passage. During the filming of Humphrey Bogart's on-location scenes at the iconic Golden Gate Bridge, the production attracted significant attention. On one particular day, more than 1,500 fans gathered to watch the filming process. The bridge itself became a symbolic backdrop for the unfolding story, and the presence of so many fans added to the film's atmosphere. Dark Passage, released in 1947, is not only a classic film but also a testament to the creativity and innovation of its time. The decision to conceal Bogart's face and his change in appearance with a full hairpiece marked a unique chapter in his career and in the history of cinema. In conclusion, Dark Passage is not just a movie, it's a piece of cinematic history showcasing the willingness of filmmakers to take risks and experiment with storytelling techniques. Humphrey Bogart's transformation and the unexpected absence of his face for the first half of the film are just two of the many elements that make this movie a standout in the world of classic cinema. Cinema. Cinema.
Cinema. As we bid adieu to the captivating world of Dark Passage, we invite you to pause and reflect on the intricate tapestry of emotions and storytelling that this timeless film has woven through the years. Nestled in the annals of cinematic history, Dark Passage is a treasure trove of suspense, mystery, and romance, a true gem that transcends the boundaries of time. Perhaps you've watched this more classic under the dim glow of a vintage theater marquee or in the cozy comfort of your own home. But one thing remains constant, the spellbinding journey it takes you on. The enigmatic world of Vincent Perry and Irene Jansen, the shadowy streets of San Francisco, the intrigue that unfolds around every corner, all of it comes together to create an experience that lingers long after the credits roll. Now, it's your turn. We invite you to share your cherished memories and thoughts about Dark Passage. Was it the plot twists that left you breathless, the chemistry between the lead actors, or the hauntingly atmospheric cinematography that left an indelible mark on your soul? Did you find yourself drawn into the characters' dilemmas, or did the film's portrayal of post-war America resonate with you on a deeper level? Your unique perspective adds a new layer of richness to the tapestry of experiences that this film has inspired over the decades. So, don't hesitate to share your thoughts, memories, and insights with us, and let's celebrate the enduring magic of Dark Passage together. Thank you for taking this cinematic journey with us, and for your time and interest. Your contribution to the conversation is invaluable. With gratitude, toot, 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 toot.